Thank you all for being here today. Uh, my name is Mr. McDevitt. I am a teacher at Burnsville High School. I've been at Burnsville High School for over 20 years. Myself, Miss Malay, and Miss Ohama have a club called Future Teachers of America. This is where we get to help students become teachers and also encourage young people who should be teachers from all walks of life. We are, uh, we are welcome to the third annual uh, Teacher Signing Day. Uh, I would like to thank all those nine students to be or that are that are here. I also like to uh, thank the parents, the teachers, administrators, everybody who again helped make this day possible. In this unique time, we have gotten a chance to reflect on the importance of education. Speaking from my own world, uh, it has been quite nice to spend time with my family. Um, I uh, have enjoyed this time immensely. Uh, I also don't mind uh, not getting in and out of the car 15 times a day, dropping them off at all their activities. But the sad part is this is not what I got into education for. I got into education to be with young people, not to email them. We try to find and categorize what takes what it takes to be a good teacher. And um, that's hard. It's hard because every student is unique and has different needs. For me, the only way for me to know, uh, know them and to get them to be successful is to get to know them. I need to be there every day so that student knows I'm somebody they can depend on and count on. I need to listen to them uh, so they know that I'm somebody they can trust. I need to have relaxed conversations with them in the hallway for them to get to know me. Uh, know, find out that I'm human and I have my own challenges in my own life. Uh, that's how you build a relationship. Uh, and once you've built a relationship, that's how you teach kids. I hope you remember these strange times that we're living in uh, when you get into the educational field. I hope you use these experiences to help you connect with students because students are in challenging situations all the time, not just during a pandemic. So lastly, before I go, I just want you all to know that District 191 teachers out there, we miss you. We really do. But let's get on. Here are the nine students committing to education and the colleges they're attending. Thank you. It is Colleen Coleman and I was lucky enough to have Sarah first and second hour this spring and I think one thing that I loved most about Sarah was she had a group of friends in both classes and they loved learning so in government they would talk about the things that we would discuss in current events and get really fired up and in women's studies the same thing would happen so I loved to see her and her friends interacting and having their conversations about all the things we were learning Sarah, I am so happy that you're gonna be a teacher. You will be a great teacher and your future students will be lucky to have you. And my one piece of advice for you would be just don't lose your love of learning. That is one thing that really stood out to me this spring. And so keep that and you will be a great teacher. Good luck. Hi, Kayla. This is Mr. Moffat, sitting at home in his porch during distance learning. You're doing a future teacher commitment, and I think that's great. If I have one piece of advice for you, it would be that you should remain kind and just continue to be yourself. Don't try to be anyone else. If you're true to yourself and you are who you are, the teachers and students that you work with will respect you. I know that you'll make a fine representative of BHS. I congratulate you, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Have a great commitment. Bye. Hi, Kayla. I just wanted to say I'm really proud of you and I feel so fortunate to have been your teacher in multiple classes this year. You really are a tremendous student and someone who never gives up and I can't wait to see what you'll do in the future. And I'm so proud that you wanna be an educator. Hi Ryan, haven't seen you forever. I hope that you're safe and happy and healthy. 
Um, I was really honored that you chose me as an influential educator. That's really cool. Um, and I was asked to give you some advice. So I guess my advice is very generic and, um, but hopefully will come in handy. I think it is really important to follow your heart and do something that you love. Um, warning, you'll have a million people tell you the reasons why you should not be an educator, but I am here to say that it's, um, it's a really important job that you've chosen. And if you can change other people's lives for the better while also bringing yourself joy, it's a win-win. Um, super proud of you. Congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on your chosen field. Um, stay safe and stay in touch and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Katie Fritz. Congratulations on high school graduation and taking this journey into becoming a teacher. You will be a fantastic teacher and I'm so honored you chose me as one of the people who inspired you to make this choice. Uh, one piece of advice, volunteer and take practicum opportunities that are outside your comfort zone at schools that you may not have thought of working in. It will give you a greater appreciation for what you need to do and how to become the best teacher you can be. You're going to be amazing because you're an amazing person. Good luck and I can't wait to hear how you do. Oh my gosh, Katie! <laughs> I just choked. Congratulations. <laughs> no, this video is not over. There's a baby. And then there's me and then there's a baby. Say hi! <laughs> Katie, congratulations on choosing the education profession. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop my child. Congrats. You are going to be an amazing teacher. I have no doubt about it. Uh, and I'm very proud of you and everything you've done. Uh, please know that everybody here at Burnsville, all your awesome teachers are still here for you. So we're always available if you ever need anything. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I wanted to congratulate you on choosing to go into one of the coolest uh, career professions you could. So uh, we were asked to give a piece of advice in this video. So my piece of advice would be to have fun. Um, try to have as much fun every day as possible. You know, as a student, being in classrooms where teachers are enjoying what they're doing every day, and and valuing all the people that come into the room um, you're having a better time and you're more likely to learn and life is good so keep the fun going and if you're not ever having fun then something's broken and you need to fix it so uh yeah congratulations super proud of you Woohoo! Hi, Daniela. Congratulations on your upcoming graduation. You've worked hard for this. This is a big deal. I'm also excited to know that your plans include um, becoming a teacher someday. That's great. I know that it's been fun to watch you grow in confidence and ability these last four years, but it's been really great to see you take risks and take on new challenges. And from that, you grow so much. And I think that, that is, those same characteristics are going to be what make you a wonderful teacher. I know that a lot of things right now seem scary and new, but you're up for the challenge. Um, you can do it. You're an amazing young woman. Congratulations. Lexi, congratulations. I am so proud of you. You are going to be an amazing art teacher. I so thoroughly enjoyed having you as a student. My advice to you is very simple. Be kind, be flexible, and be sincere. Loads of luck to you, Lexi. Mr. Towski here and I just wanted to say congratulations on choosing to become a teacher. I just know you're going to be the best teacher ever. Uh, my advice to you is to just be yourself and I know amazing things will happen. You have 
uh, energy, confidence, and warmth. And I know you'll use that to help connect with all of your students. And you're just a, a natural leader and everybody loves you. Like walking down the hall with you, everybody is shouting your name and you just put a smile on everybody's face. So that's what's so great is you just bring so much joy to everyone's life by with just your presence. And I'm, I'm so proud of you, Ryan. I'm so happy that you chose to go into teaching and um, please stay in touch. Bye. Hey Paige, just wanted to send you a quick message and say how incredibly proud of you I am for your choice to go into teaching. I really believe you're going to do a wonderful job. You have so many good experiences coming from Burnsville and even going through what we're going through right now. You're going to be a wonderful teacher when it comes to helping students and knowing how to teach them. And I also want to say thank you uh, for mentioning me as a teacher that had a positive impact on you. I'm thankful I was able to do that and I'm so thankful that you shared that with me. Uh, I can't wait to see you work and, and become a teacher and see how you do and just keep working so hard. Thank you. Hey, right, Coach Varp here. Just wanted to touch base and let you know uh, we're so proud of everything you've done here at Birdsville High School, um, academically and athletically. I'm excited that you're going to go into the teaching and coaching profession. I know you'll do a great job and you're going to have a great future uh, in both teaching and coaching. So. Uh, just want to say congratulations to you. Uh, we're excited to watch your career unfold here in the future, and hopefully we'll get you back here uh, at Burnsville High School to keep teaching coach someday as well. So best of luck. And uh... Hi, everyone. My name is Allison Millay, and I'm an English teacher at Burnsville High School. Well, I wish more than anything I was standing in the Morass Center right now with those future educators, as friends, family, and teachers. Watch their commitment to the greatest profession around. I'm grateful we can still celebrate virtually. Putting together this video with the other Future Teachers of America advisors warmed my soul. So even though the circumstances are not ideal and this spring has been heartbreaking in many ways, the future is bright. Future Teachers, reading about how excited you are to teach and how you've been inspired is a testament to your own educators. I sent emails out to your teachers asking them to put videos together to congratulate you. And without fail, they all responded quickly with joy and with so much pride. We try to hold our future teacher commitment ceremony during Teacher Appreciation Week because even future teachers deserve appreciation. There are a few careers less contested and argued about by people who have never worked a day in a classroom. You are brave by publicly committing to education and that bravery is not missed. As you prepare for your own classroom over the next few years, you will encounter judgmental know-it-alls who don't understand what anyone would want to teach and education professors that warn you to not smile until December to really show your students who the boss is. Through everything headed your way, do not lose the spark you have right now, today, this spring. You are committing to a brighter future for everyone. Teaching is more than content. If this global pandemic has taught us anything, which I hope it has, it's that schools have been and always will be more than content. When politicians were deciding whether or not to close schools, it wasn't a conversation of losing academic grit. It was the conversation of safety, security, and food. Schools provide some of the most basic necessities humans require, but above everything, schools provide love. Teachers teach content, but they also teach humanity. I end my classes every day with wash your hands, don't be racist, and make good choices. While everyone giggles for three times, or they say it along with me in a mocking tone, or they remind me if I'm too slow to say it, I hope all my students get the deeper message. I say wash your hands because it's important and slows the spread of disease, but it also means to take care of yourself physically and emotionally. I say don't be racist because I've seen my students experience it daily and casually. It's a reminder to speak out for marginalized individuals who might be tired of speaking up for themselves. I say make good choices because if the first two weren't enough, I hope this catch-all phrase sticks with them. You make countless choices per day, and I hope the vast majority are good ones. Future teachers, although we can't take pictures and celebrate you in person today, this week, this spring, please know that all of your teachers are rooting for you. We are all so impossibly proud of your choices, and we know the future is in good hands. Congratulations.